folks on back here. Um, I want to show you the nuts that hold on my oil filler tube. You can see the difference here. They're very narrow. These nuts, as far as diameter, are the same. I'll take a 13 millimeter, but these are narrow. You can see the difference. Uh, I'd say it's a third less as wide across it. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Got both of these rounded up. I'm going to go ahead and get my aviation sealant. Got my gasket and my oil filler tube. I'm going to go ahead and get this bad boy installed. Okay, guys. I'm going to have to cheat here a little bit. This is the factory piece that's going to seal your dipstick tube when it mounts, when you get it mounted. Okay? This one is cracked and dried. I can't use it. It's hard as a rock and it's not supposed to be. So, if I try to use this, I'm going to have a leak. What I'm going to do is take me a little bit of fuel line. This is 3 8 I took, I'm just going to see how I stretched it out like so. Alright. I'm going to put this over here instead. Okay. Then I can cut it to length and still get a good seal. I'm going to clamp it on the bottom and on the top. So it's kind of just a, a um, it's kind of just a homegrown way to do something but when you're on a shoestring budget like myself and you still need to get the job done you got to do what you got to do. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Just eases right back. These bolts. Piece of tin. This kind of just floats here until you get the. Uh, it's easier to have someone help you with this part because. This tin just it just kind of floats here until you get everything in place. Okay, it's all looking good on this side. All right, now all I have to do is put my washers and nuts on there. Just using a little bit of low strength Loctite. Make sure we have plenty of grip. I, I'm not going to be able to get to these nuts after I put the front part of my housing on. And I do not want this coming loose because the fan fits very, very closely when you mount it inside of here. So you don't want this moving around and have the fan start beating things to death. This takes just a little bit. You don't want to put the, you know, the permanent Loctite on here, the high strength. Don't want to do that. But I just don't want anything. I'm trying to watch out for future problems. Most of the bolts on this motor you can get to to tighten up. And if this came loose, it would beat the uh, fan would beat it to death. Make a horrible racket. So it's going to pull these down evenly. I'm crisscross pattern. I've just over the years torquing engine heads or whatever like that. I've, I've always got used to just tightening things evenly. Don't have to kill it with torque. Just get it on tight. All right. We'll get the front part of our uh, fan housing on here in a second. All right, guys, we're going to uh, go ahead and throw a few screws in this guy here. The old fan uh, housing. Typical screw. Not, nothing unusual about this. It's like the sheet metal screws, just a little bit longer. It's kind of odd that there are so many specialized screws on these. But, you know, I guess uh, after you do it long enough, you get familiar with all of them on where they go and what this particular screw or nut is for. So I'm going to go ahead and get this tightened down. And I probably just shut down for the evening. Feeling a little bit tired. 
kind of happy with what I got done today, but uh, at any rate, we'll get back after tomorrow. You guys have a good evening.